Hello, today we're going to be learning how to charge, discharge, and prepare for storage for lithium-based batteries with the T180 here. And if you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be posting new videos every week. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you how to set up charging for your lithium-based batteries. Uh, this charger can accept up to the four lithium-based batteries from one to six cells. So we have the lithium uh, polymer, LiPo, lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate, and lithium high voltage as your four options for the lithium-based batteries. Um, each lithium-based program has its own setting, so it's important to select the correct program to match your battery type to avoid damaging your battery. So if you have a lithium high voltage, you're gonna wanna make sure you're in this setting to charge your battery. Uh, each lithium-based battery has three operating modes, charge, discharge, and storage, right down here, charge, discharge, and storage. Um, and the main menu, you can touch through the arrow to select the program in which you want. So starting off, we're gonna go back to LiPo, and we'll start off with a charge here. All right, so first we're gonna set up the settings in the T180 charger. So it's 11.1 volts. We'll go down to the pack voltage and we'll set that. We'll click enter. We'll go down until we see 11.1 volts. It's a 3S battery, so that's correct. Hit enter again. Go down to the capacity and change that. We have 1200 milliamp hours. Hit enter. Go down. You can also hold it down if you got a ways to go. Go to 1200 milliamp hours. That's good. Uh, the charging current is, if you remember that formula, the capacity times 1C. So that's the max current we can charge at. We can just leave it at that. You can lower it as well if you want to charge at a lower rate. We'll just keep it at 1.2. Um, and the end voltage, 4.26 uh, volts per cell. That's all right. And we're gonna do a balanced charge. All right, so now that we got all the settings figured out in the t 1 charger, let's plug in the battery. So we'll take this connector, line those up, make sure it clicks. And in your balance board here, it says on the side what type of battery pack into which port, uh, 2S, 3S, 4S, all the way up to 6S. This battery pack is a 3S. So we'll plug in the balance connector here into the balance board. So that clicks, so that's good to go. We got the balance board connection and we got the charging connection. So now all that's left to do, we have all the correct settings. Just hold on enter. It's gonna do a battery check. It says the connection is okay. Everything's good to go. So we hold down start and there it goes. All right, so the charger is going now. Right at the top, it's gonna tell you how long it's been charging for how much capacity has been added to the battery, at what current. Um, this is gonna give you the voltage of the battery pack, uh, the power, and uh, the stage in which the battery is uh, charging right now. Uh, we have these three options at the bottom here, stop, unit, and graph. This button is gonna stop the charging. The unit button here is just gonna show you the voltage of each individual cell. So this is a three cell battery and it'll show you the voltages of each of the different cells. So we'll go back and then we also have a graph option here which gives you a live readout of the charging of the battery. So right now it's 11.74 volts. It's, going for, it's been charging for about a minute and it'll eventually keep adding to the graph there. All right, and then on the next page here, we have uh, the input and end voltages. They also show the safety, safety timer that you had input earlier and the capacity cutoff. And then on the last page, the internal resistance of the battery right there. Um, if you have a temperature sensor plugged into the T180, it'll read out here. All right, so that's it for charging. Let's see how we can discharge the LiPo battery. So let's click on discharge here. This is the main menu you're gonna see when you're discharging. Uh, again, this is 11.1 volts, 1200 milliamp hour battery pack. So we're just gonna do the same thing. 
go down to pack voltage, click enter. We're gonna go up to 11.1 .1 volts, click enter again, set the capacity, go up to 1200 right there, click enter. Uh, we'll again do the one C discharging and three volts per cell is fine. So we'll keep that. Uh, it's all hooked up already. So we'll just hold down enter. It's gonna do another battery check. Everything's good to go. So we'll just click start and it is now discharging. All right, and this display screen is very similar to what you'll see when you're charging. You have the capacity, the the capacity that's been discharged, the current. Uh, we'll go down here. Similar readings here, and also shows the internal assistance. Can see the the voltages of each of the cells again, and it'll show you the graph. It's going to be in the inverse since we're discharging. So the graph should look like that. Let's move on to the storage function. For the uh, LiPo battery pack, so let's click on the storage button. This is the main menu again, so we're just gonna do the same thing. Go down to the voltage, click on that, go up to 11.1 .1 volts, 3S battery pack. Go down the capacity, change that to 1200. Click enter. Uh, we'll keep it again at 1.2. And the end voltage is automatically set to the recommended voltage for storage. So we're just gonna leave it at 3.7 volts per cell. Hold down enter. It's gonna do another battery check. And it's all good to go, so we'll click start. And it'll now prepare for storage. All right, so our first question here, what current and end voltage should I set my, should I set to charge my LiPo battery? So for charging current, we usually recommend to follow this formula here, multiply your, the capacity of the battery by 1C. So for this particular battery pack, it has a capacity of 1.2 amps or 1,200 milliamp hours. Um, so you're going to multiply 1.2 times 1C and you'll get 1.2 amps. And for the voltage, it depends on how full you want your battery to be. So if you want to get around 80% charge, you'll want to set your voltage to around uh, 3.8 volts per cell. And if you want to be fully charged, you'll have to set it to 4.2 volts per cell. All right, so next question, can I cycle LiPo batteries? Um, no, there's not an option for cycling LiPo batteries, but also LiPo battery packs don't need to be cycled, so there's no um, need for it. Next question we got here, what current should I set to discharge my battery? So if you have enough time, we recommend you to discharge at a rate of 0.2C. This will extend the life of your battery. You can discharge up to 1C um, if you don't have enough time, but again, discharge at a lower rate will extend the life of your battery. Question four, we have how low should I discharge my LiPo battery? So LiPo batteries don't usually need to be discharged very often unless you're recalibrating them or prepping them for storage are some of the scenarios in which you would want to discharge. But when you are discharging, recommend you not to discharge below 3.0 uh, and 3.2 volts per cell. This is to avoid any damage to the battery. And when you're prepping it for storage, we recommend you discharge your batteries to around 3.7 volts per cell. So the last question we got here, can I charge my LiPo battery pack through the balance connector only? Uh, so the answer to that is no. When you have a LiPo battery pack, uh, it comes with two different wires and you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna connect them both for balance charging. So when you have the connector here, plug it into the balance board, connect that into the side of the T180 here, and then you'll connect the other wire for the actual charging, and that'll connect uh, through this uh, Octobus cable here. And you'll need to connect them both for balance charging for your LiPo battery pack. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be there to answer any questions you have. And I'll see you next week.